going to look at modulo arithmetic. And when you say modulo, modulo is a Latin word which means remainder. It means remainder. And remainder is basically what is left after a certain number is shared among a certain group of people. So let's say we have five oranges, okay? Five oranges. And two people are supposed to share this five oranges. Let's say the two people are A and B. So A and B are supposed to share five oranges. We give the first one to A. We give the second one to A. We are then left with three oranges. We give the second one, the other one to A. We give this one to A. Now we are left with one, which we cannot share. Which means that when we share the five oranges, each of them will receive two. But it will be left with what? A remainder of one. And in modulo arithmetic, we are, we are looking at the remainder, not how much they are going to share. So because they have five objects and two people are sharing it and they receive two, we can say that five modulo two will give us what? One. So in modulo, we are interested in the remainder. Let's look at the second example. So if you are given 19 in modulo 5, we are going to look at what is left after they share 19. So what we are going to do is that we are going to subtract the 5 from the 19. We will keep subtracting to the time that we get a number that it cannot be subtracted. So this is how we do it. We have 19, then we subtract 5 from it. So 19 minus 5 will give us what? 14. We can still subtract 5 from it. So this will give us 14 minus 5, which will give us what? 9. This result 9. We can still subtract 5 from it. So we are going to get 9 minus 5, which will give us what? 4. With this 4, we cannot subtract the 5 from it. So this becomes our remainder. So we can say that 19 in mode 5 is what? 4. So in modulo, we are interested in the remainder. Let's take more examples and I believe that it will help you get a better understanding of modulo arithmetic. So let's look at more examples of modulo so that you can get a better understanding. So let's look at A. We are to find 2 modulo 4. You realize that with the examples that we did first, the number here was bigger than the modulo. We call this one the integer. And this one is the modulo number. So let's look at a solution. 2 modulo 4. So like I said earlier, the number here that we are going to divide is the integer. And this one is called the modulo number. Anytime the modulo number is bigger than the integer, the answer is the integer. Let me repeat it. Anytime you are solving a question related to modulo, and the modulo number is bigger than the integer, your answer is what? The integer. Let's look at the solution to be 5 mod 5. This is also another thing you need to note. You realize that the integer number and the modulo number are the same. The other rule is that anytime the integer and then the modulo number are the same, the answer is what? Zero. I hope you understand. So let's look at C. Negative 9 modulo 4. 
with the questions that we solved, we realized that the integer was what? Positive number. But here we are dealing with what? A negative integer. So negative 9 modulo 4. Anytime the integer is negative, what you do is that we add the modulo, which is 4. We are going to add that 4 to negative 9. We will continue to add so we get a positive number. And the first positive number we get becomes what? Our answer. So let's keep adding up. So this will give us negative 9 plus 4. This will give us what? This will give us negative 5. It is still negative. So we are going to add the modulo number to it again. So this is going to give us plus 4. Negative 5 plus 4 will give us negative 1. It is still negative. So we are going to add 4 to it again. So this is going to give us plus 4, which will give us what? Positive 3. So which means that negative 9 modulo 4 is what? 3. Let me use these examples to repeat the rule again. The first one, you realize that the modulo, the integer is less than the modulo number. And the rule is that any time the integer is less than the modulo number, the answer is the integer, which is 2, that we got here. The second rule is that any time the integer is the same as the modulo number, the answer is 0. So 5 modulo 5 it gave us what? 0. The last rule is that any time the integer is negative, what you are going to do is that you are going to add up the modulo number here, which is 4. To the integer you keep adding up adding up to the to the integer to the time you get a positive number and the first positive number becomes what your answer so in this case as we illustrated here negative 9 plus 4 our answer is was what negative 5 which was still negative so we have to add up again so we added up the modulo number plus 4 negative 5 plus 4 gave us what negative 1 it's still negative so we add 4 to it again, which gave us what? 3. Thank you for watching our videos and I hope you learned a lot. But before you go, make sure if you have not subscribed, you subscribe and then hit the notification so that anytime we share a new video, you get to have access to them. You can also follow us on our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, they are all at Suyade. The spelling is S-U-A-D-Z-E. Or you can also log on to our website at www.suyade.com and you get amazing resources for your educational journey.